to everybody. Would you clap your hands? Would you lift your voice? Would you shout with a voice of triumph today? Hallelujah. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Did you come to have church today? Did you come to lift up the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords today? Amen. We don't have a service to waste. We don't have a breath to waste. Let everything that hath breath praise ye the Lord. Sing a joyful noise of the Lord today.
Do you feel freedom to praise him today? Yes, hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank, you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, you reign, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, let's praise the almighty God, the one who reigns over all. Yes. God, you are great, Jesus. You are glorious. today. We're so thankful, God, that we know who reigns over all today, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God is great and glorious. We put our trust in your name, Jesus. He's able to save and power unto our God forever and ever. All of the honor, all of the praise is yours, yours forever. Yes, hallelujah. 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 Our God
Cause our God reigns forever. Our God is in control. His steadfast, unmovable. Entreating the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We're bringing our prayer request today. Wanda Newton has cancer and needs healing and salvation. Candace Honeyman is recovering from surgery. Let's pray for her. Sister April Lindsay is having surgery this Wednesday. Bowen Kimmel is sick with a high fever. Scott Hall fell 20 feet out of a tree, is in very bad shape. Let's remember him. Uh, Brother Denver Latham Jr. is sick today. Brother Macram all were recovering from surgery. Uh, Christy uh, is in the hospital, needs prayer. Cheryl Gibson is having surgery on Thursday. Please remember our daughter recovering from tonsillectomy this week and a lot of discomfort. And for my wife who's here but not feeling well, pray for her. Amen. If you have a need today, I want you to come and I want you to come quickly like you believe God's going to meet it. And we're going to ask the ministry team to come and they're going to come and they're going to lay hands and pray like they believe it. And we're going to see God do things in this place today. Amen? amen. Can I get an amen? amen. Would you say in Jesus' name? Jesus. Let's pray. Lord, we ask right now that you would touch each of these needs. God, that you would bring wholeness in the name of Jesus. God, these that are sick in body, Lord, these that need you spiritually, these that are wounded and injured, Lord, God, that you would bring recovery to their body, we pray. In the name of Jesus, I ask today, Lord, God, bring healing today. Bring deliverance today. Hallelujah.
God praise for what He's done already today. We thank You today, Jesus, for mending hearts, Lord, for bringing peace to minds, Lord, touching bodies in the name of Jesus. Everybody say, in Jesus' name. Say, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. It is so great to have everyone here today. To all of our guests, we are glad that you are here. Thank you for being here. We're going to encourage the church to step across the aisle, greet one another. If you're near somebody you don't know, introduce yourself. Make somebody welcome today. In Jesus' name. As you're returning to your seat, if you have your weekly bulletin with you, if you want to pull that out, some exciting things coming up real quickly. All the kids say, kids powered by Jesus. It's that time of year, clubs getting ready to kick off. This Wednesday night, registration table will be in the foyer, so please sign your kids up. They don't want to miss that. Um, this Wednesday night, there will be street tacos upstairs for she's for christ so come here early you don't have to cook dinner you come straight from work go upstairs to the cafe they will have street tacos available for you august 24th is our back to school rally hosted here at our church you don't want to miss that but the stephen barker is going to be preaching you know who he is tremendous preacher so you don't want to miss uh, that and then our coastal marriage retreat is coming up October 26th and 27th. If you want more information, please fill it in on your communication card. Speaking of that, if you'll turn to your communication card in your bulletin, fill that out. If you are a guest, please do fill this out with us. Um, your name and information, we'd love to contact you, invite you back to our VIP breakfast next Sunday. We'd love for you to be a part of that. Uh, if you'd like any information from baptism to our different ministries to serving at Truth Tabernacle, let us know. If you didn't get a bulletin, raise your hand. The ushers have them. Be glad to bring one to you. Um, but like I said, if you're interested in the marriage retreat, it's going to be great. Brother and sister Sighs are going to be with us. This is a tremendous couple. They're both great speakers. You don't want to miss the marriage retreat, so please fill that out. Once you've got that filled out, tear it out. Hand it to the center aisles. The ushers are going to collect those for you and we will get you the information that you need. If you are a guest here today, you have made our service, service very special. 
and we would like for you right after service in our resource office right off, off the main foyer here we have some refreshments a gift for you we'd love to connect with you so please come by right after service it'll take you less than five minutes but we would like to connect with you today amen so as you hand those to the sinners the ushers will collect them we're going to prepare to worship the lord in giving today and we want to bless the ministers that are here today. Brother Dross has been here this weekend. We had a tremendous Spanish revival this weekend. Friday night, I believe it was eight that received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. We had one that was baptized and uh, excited about what God is doing and what God did. Thank you for all of you that were here to show support. And it was just a tremendous time. And then Brother and Sister Phelps, our missionaries to Nigeria, we're in our first service today. We want to be a blessing to them also. Um, if you are not in our first service today, and I know ministry is going on all over the building, so a lot of you can't be in here. They shared their burden, their vision for Nigeria, where they have been missionaries, their career missionaries there. And uh, under great duress, threat of life and limb, uh, they are building an apostolic church that is influencing that country and we are going to be a part of that and i appreciate all of those that came down afterwards and they have up front here there's there's a puzzle that has pieces on it and for each piece that you take if you will donate a hundred dollars you can give it to them after service uh, it is going to go toward helping them build a permanent place of worship and, and study for the the church there and I know several already picked some up this morning a lot of you weren't here I wish you could have felt their their burden and vision because I know you'd come and grab one of these um, but after service if you want to grab one of those puzzle pieces grab the puzzle piece write your name underneath where the puzzle piece came out of and you can go to buy their booth um, give them a check make it out of truth tabernacle because we're gonna collect all of them and write one big check at the end of service so uh, fill that out and also if you'd like to partner with them if you want to rather do that they have yellow forms up here and you can fill out a monthly commitment and you'll get a reminder each month to to send an offering to help support them in the work that they're doing tremendous tremendous work so please do take advantage of that amen, amen. are you excited to be in the house of the lord today amen. are you excited to be able to give to advance god's kingdom amen. there's blessing in giving i said pastor why are you talking about giving so much because there's blessing in giving yes, there is. i've proved him and his his word is true it is more blessed to give than to receive. So would you stand? We're going to give you an opportunity to bring your tithe, your offering, your sacrifice today. We're going to pray God's blessing on it and God's blessing on you as he's promised to do. The Lord, in Jesus' name, we pray right now for your favor and your blessing to be on this offering. On the ministries of Brother and Sister Phelps, for the dross, Lord, we pray that you go with them, that you minister through them, use them to change the world. We pray it in Jesus' name, and everybody say amen.
if you're thankful for that today, would you put your hands together? And would you give him a shout of praise? Come on, give him a shout of... There's something about opening your mouth and shouting out of praise. Hallelujah. Lord, we magnify you today. We praise your name today, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your saving power. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Brother Tony, could you give a little more monitor in this? Thank you. Hallelujah. It is a tremendous delight today to have international evangelists. Brother Drost here with us today. Brother Drost is a, a missionary's kid, missionary himself at, for some period, and then pastor, now evangelist, and I think he's trying to cover all of the five-fold ministry. <laughs> But he's a tremendous man of God. We want him to come today. Are you ready to preach with the preacher? This is a two-way enterprise. So when he says something that you agree with or that hits you maybe where it needs to hit you, you need to say, come on, practice. Say, that's right, preacher. Come on, preacher. Amen. Would you put your hands together for Brother Cross? Clap your hands to the Lord. Give God the praise in the house. Somebody lift up your voice. Somebody got to give a shout in the house of the Lord. We bless you. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. It is a joy, an honor, and a privilege to be here in this place this morning hallelujah i was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the lord anybody excited to be in the house of the lord today amen that's about half of you amen praise god i want to say that it has been a distinct joy honor and privilege to be able to spend time with your pastor. Amen. You guys got a great pastor in this place. Great pastor and great first lady. Amen. What a tremendous team you have. And uh, these, uh, in fact, the first time, basically the first time I had met your pastor is when I met him at the uh, airport, basically. And... Um, before I even arrived at the airport, your pastor said, when you arrive, we're going to go have lunch. And I was like, man, he's anointed. Hallelujah. He is, <laughs> moves on other dimensions. Hallelujah. And, uh, but I have really, really enjoyed being able to fellowship with your pastor. And uh, I, feel, I feel leaving here, I feel like God's given me a new friend. Amen. And I'm thankful for that. Praise God. Aren't you thankful for your pastor and first lady? Amen. What a blessing. What a blessing. What a blessing. And then, uh, it's such an honor to be able to see Bishop. Amen. Bishop is just... A gift from God to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. We love Bishop and his precious wife. What a tremendous, tremendous couple. Amen. All the leadership of this church. God bless you. Amen. And God bless all of those that think they're leaders. Hallelujah. There's always one of them. Hallelujah. That think they're leaders. Praise God. But it is such a joy to be able to see uh, Missionary Phelps and his wife. God bless you. Amen. And the endeavors that they are that they are doing in Nigeria. Amen. They're on deputation. I know what it is to be on deputation. Amen. And they're on the tail end of deputation. They're about to go back to the field. Amen. What a blessing. I know they're excited about that. But we pray blessings upon you. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Y todo el pueblo hispano, Dios los bendiga en el nombre de Jesús. Hallelujah. I invite you to open your Bibles, Exodus chapter 7, and reading verse 10. Hallelujah. 
Exodus chapter 7, reading verse 10, and we will go all the way to verse 12. And as you are going there, I want to say that I honor my precious wife, even though she is not with me when I travel, she is a great part of my ministry. I am the man that I am behind the pulpit because I have a lady that prays for me. I'm blessed. Hallelujah. I'm blessed. I'm one of those weird guys that actually loves his wife. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Any other weird guys in this place? Any, any other man that love their wife? Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. If you did not say amen, you're going to the doghouse tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to give you one more opportunity. Any other weird men in the house, just crazy men like that, praise God. Hallelujah. Thankful to the Lord for my family. God is good. Exodus chapter 7 and reading verse 10. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. Now the mag magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. For they cast down every man his rod, and they became serpents. Watch this. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. Glory to God. Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. I want to preach to you this morning in the name of Jesus. I want to preach to you on this subject. Send hell some fire. Send hell some fire. You got to understand that hell has been sending fire to you. But it's time for you to send hell some fire in the name of Jesus. I feel hell is already shaking right now. There is about to be a breakthrough in this house in the name of Jesus. There is going to be a revelation awakening in this place. And God is going to allow you to put the devil in his place in Jesus' name. Somebody give God praise in the house. Let us pray in this place. Father, we give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. Because you are the only God, the true God, the Alpha and Omega. I pray, God, that your name will be glorified in this house. Put the devil in his place and let your name be lifted in this house. In Jesus' name, amen. Now clap your hands to the Lord and give God the praise. Come on now, give God the praise. Somebody ought to give a praise that makes hell begin to shake right now. In Jesus' name, ukarabataya. In the name of Jesus, you may be seated in the presence of Almighty God. The scripture that we read in Exodus, we see a, a confrontation of power. Pharaoh against Moses, or the power of hell versus the power of heaven. Where Moses and Aaron come before Pharaoh, and the sign they used to show that God was with them was that Aaron threw down his rod and it became a snake, a serpent. Then Pharaoh called his wise men and sorcerers and they did the same thing. I want you to know something. The devil is an expert in imitation. Hallelujah. An expert in imitation. There are some folks that are more worried about presentation than the presence. Hallelujah. But I want you to know something. Presentation will not change you. Presentation will not set you free. Presentation will not heal the sick and set the bond free. But the power of God will do all of that. Somebody clap your hands to the Lord. 
I lost my monitor and I need it back. Hallelujah. And so, and so Pharaoh imitated what Aaron had done. But I love this part because the Bible says, and Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. In that moment, I love seeing that in that moment, when Pharaoh imitated what, what Aaron had done, all of a sudden, instead of referring to it as a snake, now it says Aaron's rod swallowed up their rod. Hallelujah, because the rod symbolizes authority. It symbolizes power. And when the enemy wants to get up against the children of God, he comes face to face with an unshakable, unmovable God of glory. In other words, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Oh, Lord, I feel a fight rising up in this place today in the name of Jesus. Somebody ought to clap your hands to the Lord. I want you to know something clearly tonight, and that is that God backs us with power. There's about three of you that said something. I said God backs us with power. We're not on earth powerless, but we're on earth equipped with the power of God. And when the enemy rises up like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard against him. Can I get a witness in the house of the Lord? Hallelujah. I want to make something very clear tonight. The devil is not an opposite of God. I know some folks here are a little confused right now. But even though he would like for people to think so, he is not an equal opposite of God. God is all powerful. God is everywhere present. Uh, God knows all things. Uh, Satan is none of these things. Uh, he does not have unlimited power. He cannot be everywhere at the same time. Our God stands uh, alone uh, in power. There is uh, no God like our God. Does anybody believe that in this place this morning? I said there is no God like our God. No hay Dios como nuestro Dios. He alone is powerful. Somebody clap your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I feel the power of God moving in the atmosphere. I feel the glory of the Lord in this place. Uh, hallelujah. I had to tell you about the power of God. But in these last days, uh, there has been a satanic fire from the pit of hell that has been unleashed on the earth. Uh, this fire is burning on this nation like never before. This demonic fire is even twisting the minds of the innocent children until they believe that God put them in the wrong body. I want to make something clear in this place. God is not confused. Sin will confuse a person and brokenness will confuse a person. But God is not confused. He made man and he made woman. And if you came to this place confused today, the God that created you is the God that will assure and confirm your identity in the name of Jesus. But God is not confused. Glory to God. 
but this satanic fire comes to bring confusion in our children because if he can if he can demoralize a nation and bring a nation down then he can manipulate and control that nation hallelujah this demonic fire is breaking more families than ever before to the point that divorce rates are at an all-time high the same amount of percentage of people being divorced in the world is happening also in the church hell is releasing fire trying to bring destruction like never before where there is sin on display like never before where where good is called evil and evil is called good and it looks like a sieve hell has no closet anymore everything is at the eyes of everybody i remember back in the day when sin was done at nighttime now it's done all day long People are not embarrassed of their sin. Uh, hell is sending fire. And what bothers me is uh, that the church for the most part is asleep. Uh, careless. Uh, passive. Uh, lukewarm with their heart. Uh, no passion towards praise. Uh, moving more at the beat of the drum uh, than at God's rhythm. Uh, it gives me sadness uh, that most churches do not qualify to deal with the demonic fires from hell I have seen lately more than ever brothers against brothers sisters against sisters gossip and lies in the church bickering and fighting amongst one another can't even get along baby if you can't get along here you're not going over there Oh, I'm a preaching in this place. If you want to get on board, this is a good time to get on board. I said, if you can't get along here, you ain't going over there. How many say amen to that? Uh, hallelujah. Gossips and lies. Uh, bickering and fighting to the point uh, that the devil does not have to worry about the church. Uh, because we are our, our worst enemy we end up sabotaging ourselves killing ourselves as a church because we can't we can't even sit in the same building together my god have mercy i came to preach this morning hallelujah i feel apostolic authority on my life right now in the name of Jesus, the Lord has sent me to bring revelation in the name of Jesus. We've been lured in a, in a trap of distractions. Lured in a trap of distractions where we're distracted with this and distracted with that and distracted with job and distracted with all this stuff and distracted with social media to the point that as we are distracted, the devil is Sneaking in, uh, sneaking into your house, uh, sneaking into your marriage, uh, sneaking into your kids, uh, and you don't even know it, uh, but they're already wrapped around uh, by the snare of the devil. But the devil is a liar uh, because we're about to break it in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I feel apostolic authority. Somebody give God praise in the house. Ikarabataya, clap your hands to the Lord. Distraction. Distraction all over the place. Distraction all over the place. Have you not realized that the physical world is a portrait of what is happening in the spiritual world? We're at the point nowadays that we don't know who's telling the truth and who's not telling the truth. Amen. Before you'd be able to trust a certain news uh, news uh, people or what have you. Now you don't know who's telling the truth and who's not telling the truth. The world, the world is in a distraction. It's a tactic from the pit of hell. 
Because as we are distracted, the enemy has taken our kids. Oh, Shadra Baha'i. The enemy is coming in and, and taking the marriages and stealing marriages and messing with your joy, messing with your Holy Ghost, uh, messing with your salvation. There's some folks, you're sitting here right now, and you just realize, oh, I'm in church. Hallelujah. Because you've been so distracted. You only came through the motions of it. Uh, but something's about to be woke up in your spirit. Uh, I declare in the name of Jesus, uh, you're not leaving this place the same way you got to this place. Uh, because there's a power that's about to break every chain. Uh, there's a power of the Holy Ghost uh, that's about to set you free in the name of Jesus. I wish I had somebody in this place that can witness in their spirit uh, what the Holy Ghost is doing in this house. Uh, somebody give a shout uh, unto God. He's he's Satan is a master of distraction. And as you are being distracted, your marriage is being affected. Hallelujah. You don't feel fruitful anymore. You're not productive anymore. There's no more life in you. No success, no advancement in your life. Stagnated in your spirit. Stagnated. You've been in church for years, but you're stuck. In the same spot. Baby, we cannot be like, like, like uh, Rip Van Winkle that fell asleep and 20 years later woke up expecting for everything to be the same. These aren't the 80s anymore. These aren't the 90s anymore. The things that we used to do in the 80s and the 90s are not a threat to hell anymore. We need to wake up and realize that hell has sent fire, but we got to fight back. Oh, Lord, I wish I, had, I wish I had some fighters right there. I said we got to fight back. We are in spiritual warfare, and it's time for the church to wake up up i said it's time for the church to wake up somebody clap your hands to the lord can i preach this this morning somebody tell me say preach it i'm gonna preach it hallelujah hallelujah there's gonna be a stirring in our spirit hallelujah I see the young people nowadays, and I look at what they are battling with. Uh, those young people aren't battling the demons I had to fight with. Hallelujah. They're dealing with other demons uh, I never had to fight with. Uh, and when I see young people praising God, when I see young people on fire, when I see young people that are declaring the word of the Lord, I get excited. Quit judging them. Uh, but pray for them uh, because they are dealing with demonic spirits uh, that you never had to deal with. Uh, but it's time for a mama and it's time for a daddy to rise up and be able to get into spiritual warfare and let the devil know you're not touching my kids you're not touching my family somebody give a shout unto God glory 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 watch this watch this hallelujah amen uh, in, in the month of in the month of November, we uh, the the month of October, we had a dog that we had for ten years. It died. Amen. It was a good dog, but it died. Amen. And then I told my kids, I said, we will we will wait for one month uh, before we get another dog. Exactly on the day a month later, my kids come in and they said, Papa, it's been a month. It's time for us to get another dog. I said, all right. So we went down to the pound. Hey, Amen. When we went down to the pound, uh, all the dogs were there. And I'm just looking around, and I come to this one dog. All of a sudden, we had a, an eye connection. And I said, that's my dog right there. I even got on my knees, 
Hey Amen. The dogs looking through the window. I got on my knees and got down to the to my dog's level. And it's like as if we were having a, a conversation through the window. Hey Amen. And and I in my mind I'm like, you're, you're my dog. And he was saying back, you're my master. And, and, you know, they, it was that kind of a connection. Hallelujah. And so, and so watch this. My wife comes uh, and she says, baby, uh, I just found uh, that there's a list here of dogs that they're going to put down tomorrow. She said, we got to rescue one of these dogs. I said, baby, this is, this is the dog. Hallelujah. I said, I, I, I'm sorry about those other ones, uh, but this is the one uh, that I'm adopting today. This is the one we're taking. She said, but baby, there's, there's dogs that are on this de death list, you know. And, and I said, baby, this is the dog. She looks at the list, and he was the first one on the list. Praise God. And she said, baby, he's the first one on the list. I said, you're coming with me, buddy. You ain't dying tomorrow. Hallelujah. You're coming with me. My dog's so thankful he washes dishes. Amen. He just, <laughs> he'll make the bed. Hallelujah. He walks his own self. Hallelujah. Amen. He takes himself out for a walk. Amen. But, but when we got our dog, whoever he was with, they were abusive to him. My dog already had a defeated spirit. You know when an animal has been so abused, uh, they have that defeated spirit. My dog had a defeated spirit. He'd walk around with his tail down and sadness on his face. And any time we would reach out to pet him, he would bend down under the petting. Uh, and uh, we had already had him for two weeks. And, and all of a sudden I said, that's it. I'm tired of this. I said, I'm about to deal with this dog. My son looks, he said, are you taking him back? I said, I'm not taking him back. I said, today he's changing. Hallelujah. My son said, what are you going to do? I said, you watch. I said, you stand right there and you watch. And I grabbed my dog and I shook him and I went, Rah! and I pushed him back. And when I shook him and pushed him back, uh, he, he was a little startled. Uh, but then he got down a little bit. I, I said, uh-uh-uh. I grabbed him. Uh, I shook him. Uh, and I growled at him. Uh, and I pushed him down. Uh, and when I pushed him down the second time, I saw a little flicker of life come into him. Uh, and all of a sudden, I said to my son, I said, buddy, you better step back because the beast is about to come alive. He said, how do you know? I said, I'm telling you, just step back. So I grabbed him again. I shook him and I growled and I threw him down. When I did that, all of a sudden, my dog came alive and he began to growl and came trying to attack me. I said, he's alive. From that moment on, his chest is up. His head is up. His tail is up. He walks with confidence. Let me tell you, the enemy has beaten down on your life too long. And some of you have been in a defeated state in your life. A defeated state in your mind. But the Holy Ghost has sent me this morning to shake you up this morning. To stir up a fight in this place. Is there anybody that's stirring up in your spirit? Somebody give a shout. Oh, Lord, I don't know who you are, but somebody got a roar in the house. Somebody got to let the devil know the lion is coming alive. The lion is raising up in this place. There needs to be a daddy that wakes up in this house. The devil can't steal your house. The devil can't steal your marriage. The devil can't mess with your stuff. You need to rise up and get your fight back. Somebody give a shout unto God. Clap your hands as loud as you can. <sighs> I want you to, want you to hear me. I want you to hear me. I feel the Holy Ghost. 
feel the Holy Ghost. I'm in the will of the Lord right now. I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. Hell has sent fire against your house. You're in church, but your house is in trouble. You're in church, and you act like as if everything's okay. But you know deep inside, there's things happening in your household. Hallelujah. And you're afraid to deal with it. You've even seen shadows of the enemy in your house, and you've acted like as if you didn't see anything. Hallelujah. Because the enemy has gotten into your household. Uh, but it's time for you to get your fight back. Uh, it's time for you to get back home. Uh, open up the door. Say, devil, I give you five seconds uh, to leave my house uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Get out of my house. Somebody give a shout. The only thing, watch this. The only thing that will fight against the fires of hell is the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire. I don't think you heard me. I said it's the fire of the Holy Ghost. I wish somebody's soul would catch on fire, burning with the Holy Ghost. I dare you to touch somebody and say fire. Ukarabasaya, fire, fire, fire. You need fire in your house. You need fire over your marriage. You need fire over your kids. You need to let hell know we're we're under the fire of the Holy Ghost. Somebody ought to give a shout. I know, I know that right now there are fires all over the place. But last year, there was a fire in, in the Napa Valley area. And it was burning out of control. The firemen couldn't control it. It was burning out of control. Everybody was focusing on this fire. And all of a sudden, I remember that day. Because I was, uh, I was driving uh, uh, down the road. I was listening to the news. Uh, and all of a sudden, they said, oh, they just detected another fire. Hallelujah. And the news people got crazy. Started scrambling to go where the new fire was at uh, because now they're concerned uh, we can't deal with this fire how are we going to deal with this fire and when they arrived uh, they were shocked to find out uh, that it was the firemen that set that fire and when they interviewed the fire chief uh, they asked him why did you set this fire? He said, we calculated that that fire that's out of control is coming that this direction. He said, and so therefore, fire needs fuel to continue burning. So what we decided was uh, we were going to draw a line uh, and send fire to the fire that's out of control to be able to turn it off uh, within days uh, that fire that was out of control was completely turned off uh, and the holy ghost spoke to me uh, and said to me like this uh, my church needs to be like the firemen uh, where they draw the line uh, we cannot be a church uh, that only moves when the enemy attacks uh, but we gotta be a church on the move uh, that sets the line uh, that says we're going to send fire from here there in other words uh, you're not touching my kids oh lord i'm a blast i feel the glory you're not touching my marriage i need a mama rising up Get that fight in her spirit uh, and say, my kids are going to be saved. Uh, my kids are going to be saved. I, I wish I had a daddy uh, rise up with spiritual authority uh, and put the devil in his place. Somebody give us.
You ought to be praising him right now. You ought to be praising him. I said you ought to be praising him right now. I need intercessors interceding right now. The church has to arise. The church has to arise. The church. I need some warfare people. I need some warriors in this place. That know how to stir it up in the spirit. That let the devil know. You're not touching my kids. You're not touching my family. You're not touching my marriage. No, no, no. We're sending fire from here out. In the name of Jesus. You ought to get out of your pew. You ought to come to this altar and begin to stir up the fire of the Holy Ghost in this place. I wish somebody's soul would catch on fire. I don't hear you lift up your voice right now. In the name of Jesus, you ought to bring your family up to this altar. You need to grab your kids right now. Mom and dads, get your family. I feel a family prayer coming on this place. Mom and dad, mobilize. Get your kids. I want families in this altar. We're about to set the boundaries right now. We're going to draw the line right now in the name of Jesus. There is warriors rising up. There are mamas rising up to fight. If it wouldn't have been for my praying mama, I'd probably not be in church right now. But I had a praying mama that knew how to storm the gates of hell in the name of Jesus right now you need to lift up your voice you need to fight in the spirit you need to stir up the fire pray 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 for your grandkids pray for your generation Stir it up. I don't hear you. You need to get it out. There's some of you that you got to scream. All bottled up inside of you. You need to open up your mouth and scream right now. In your scream, there's a breakthrough. In your scream, there's a breakthrough. In your yell, there's a breakthrough. You need to let the devil know you're not touching my kids. Tú tienes que dejarle al diablo saber. Tú no vas a tocar mis hijos. Tú no vas a tocar mi matrimonio. Mi matrimonio le pertenece a Dios. My family belongs to God. My marriage belongs to God. My finances belong to God. Devil, you ain't touching my stuff. I'm stirring up the fire. I'm setting a fire off right now. Somebody set the fire off now. I need some folks fighting in the spirit right now in the name of Jesus fight 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 begin to intercede in yourself comienza a interceder en este momento que se levante esa pelea let that fight get get stirred up get stirred up Stir it up! Stir it up! 
I need a fighting mama in this place. I need a fighting dad in this place. The name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Touch. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus, the name of There's a glory of the Lord in this place. There's a glory of the Lord in this place. Come on, young man. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, in the name of Jesus, I declare breakthrough right now in your life. Now, in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, touch. There you go, this is breakthrough time. Now, 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 now. Now, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, come on young man, come on now, in the name of Jesus, 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 hallelujah. I feel the glory of the Lord in this place. I feel the glory of the Lord. Come on, families. Come on now. Stir up that spirit. Stir up the fire of the Holy Ghost. Stir it up right now in the name of Jesus. Your family's been under attack. But it's time for you to get your breakthrough. It's time for you to get your victory. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, there's victory in this house. There's breakthrough in this house. Harabataya, lift up that voice in intercession right now. Lift up your voice in intercession. Harabakataya. All over this place. If you have spoken in tongues right now, you need to begin to speak in tongues. Let that spirit of intercession come upon you right now. By the power of the name of Jesus. By the authority that's in the name of Jesus. Lord, Lord, command the enemy's hands off. In Jesus' name, Ikorobo Sanda Rabakataya. Bring freedom to every household. Bring freedom to every marriage. Bring freedom to every child. In the name of Jesus, I declare breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Ara 
the name of Jesus. I don't know who you are, but you got to scream all bottled up. You need to let that go. You need to let that go right now. There is breakthrough in that scream right there. Let it go. Let it go. Don't bottle it up. Let it go in the name of Jesus. There, 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 there. There, something's moving in the atmosphere. Go, go, go. In the name of Jesus, clap your hands. I want you to hear me real quick. I feel this. I feel this strong in the Holy Ghost. There are people in this place, watch. There are people in this place that sickness has hit your home. Sickness has hit your home. The Spirit of the Lord is letting me know that that has been a distraction from the pit of hell. Because sickness has hit your home and you've been distracted by sickness. If sickness has hit your home and you want it to be cast out of your home in the name of Jesus, I want you to come and stand in front of me right now in the name of Jesus. You need to stand right here in front of me. Hallelujah. If you're sitting back there, you ought to stay, get up and come to this altar. Because when I release this word of faith, uh, miracles are going to be released in this house. Healing is going to happen. And that sickness is going to be broken in the name of Jesus. Come, come, come. That's been a distraction from the pit of hell. Pain has been upon your body. It's been a distraction. You can't pray like you used to pray because you got pain on your body. But right now there is going to be a release in the Holy Ghost. The pain is going to leave your body and healing is going to come upon your house. When I release this word of faith, you're going to open up your mouth and you're going to begin to pray. Praise God. I'm letting your pain know it has no room in your body anymore. I'm sending a notice to your sickness. It has no place in your body nor in your household anymore. Right now, by the authority of the word of God and by the power of the name of Jesus, Lord, command sickness to be broken out and loosened out of every household in the name of of Jesus let it be done now 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 Sandaya now in the name of Jesus let healing flow let healing flow touch 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 I declare healing in your body. I declare healing in your household. Now, 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 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let it be gone, let it be gone. Infection gone. Sickness gone. Cancer gone. Diabetes gone. Pain gone. Arthritis gone. Gone, gone. Kidney problems gone. In the name of Jesus. Back disorder gone. In the name of Jesus. Be healed by the power of the name of Jesus.
Oh Lord, now you ought to give him a praise in this house. Urabashaya. Arabakataya. You ought to give a roaring praise in this house. My God, I feel victory in this house. Does anybody feel victory in the house? Does anybody feel breakthrough in the house? I declare revival is breaking out in this place in the name of Jesus. You ought to shout about it. You ought to shout about it. Somebody's soul would catch on fire. 